How's it going, everyone? I'm Nostalgia Dave, and welcome back aboard the Nostalgia Train. So, we're just... I don't know how many times we've um, started this series in one of these rooms. You just think it gets kind of old? <laughs> nah. It doesn't get old. We have any side stuff? I don't think so. I don't think we do. So, I'm pretty dang sure we don't have any, uh, bounties. I mean, I can always double check, but I'm pretty dang sure we've already done all the bounties. Ah, yes, phone? What do you want? My phone is giving me random notifications that I don't want to see. I will turn you off! Hi. We... Don't. That's what I figured. Yes, I am aware. I already helped all the people I can. I have literally nothing but progression to do right now. Hey! <clears throat> Alright, so turn the corner. And the other corner. Go right. Go left. Go right. Go left. Go right. No, no. As much as I want a Tiki Mahala, I should probably be going straight rather than zigzag. Don't worry, guys, I'm not drunk. I'm way too, way too young to be that. <laughs> it's nice to see you again, your majesty. I don't remember the voice I gave you. It's been way too long. I say, you have returned. Now tell me, boy, have you located that handsome young man in the picture we so generously gave you? Yep. Yes, we found him, your majesty. And now Prince Moccasin's back to his old self. That picture of yours came in proper useful in the end, your majesty. Even if you did only have it because you had a crush on the poor lad. <laughs> we are most pleased to hear that you accomplished your aims. But what brings you back to us, pray tell? Um, your majesty, have you heard of the clarion? Indeed we have, and we to take are we to take it that you require the aforementioned Oh my gosh, I can't speak. Aforementioned instrument. Is the time finally at hand? That's right, your majesty. We need to, to cross the miasma marshes. Oh uh, boo! I don't know if you heard that, but I just heard an echo in the entire room. That's awesome. <laughs> you are the young man that you know what this instant. I yes, most bountiful bovinity. I don't even know if that's his right. I've been, it's been too long. I present to you the holy wood. Wow, that was not far off. Thank you. <laughs> Guard that wood with your lives, won't you now? Who can say how long it will take for another branch like that to grow? Gee, thanks, Your Majesty. This means we can do battle with Shadar. So you really do intend to face him? Tell us, are you familiar with the events of the Wizard Wars? Uh. Totally been reading the Wizard's Companion. Totally. Yeah. I'm just gonna be down here. <laughs> totally embarrassed by not. And it's just totally ready. Yeah. And. and, and, and. <laughs> so you. Yeah, I read that. Yes, Your Majesty. I heard something about them. The whole world was at war, wasn't it? It was a most protracted and bloody affair. And at the end of it, only three kingdoms remained. Alma Moon, Ding Dong Dell, and Hamelin. The three ruling fam families vowed then to keep the peace, and the clarion served to symbolize their sacred pledge. When the shadow of the Dark Jinn fell across the world, 
our three kingdoms were driven into a simply frightful series of disputes. Why? In retrospect, it is the most unfortunate that we did not join forces and make a new clarion back then. Yeah. Join forces? Your Majesty? That's right, boy. Now, if we can recall correctly, you have already visited each of the three kingdoms. That's right, Your Majesty. We're close personal friends with the big, um, Jesus in every kingdom. <laughs> it amuses us to think that a dear little boy should be the one to mend the bridges between our kingdoms. Hey, I don't know how to feel about that. Uh, thanks, Your Majesty? Yes, thanks, Your Majesty. We'd love to stay and chat, but this clarion won't make itself. Shall we head over to the next kingdom? Thank you, Swain. Yes. It's time to go to Ding Dong Down and see King Tom. Alright, let's get out of here. Actually, I wonder... If I remember correctly, I think... Um, the Sage of Ages is supposed to be here right now, isn't he? I've always loved this song. Then again, companies like Bandai Namco and Level 5 do a really good job of what they do, so. Alright. Oliver, question. Why do you run so slow? Maybe Oliver can run faster and Drippy's the one who runs slow as balls. Drippy's like in the back just flailing. <laughs> My grandma can run faster than the both of you combined. Just look at that's that's kind of wait what? So off to see the king cat, the cat king is it? Ah, oh, this place really takes me back. It was the first town we visited together, wasn't it? Listen, I'm sure you're enjoying your trip down memory lane, but haven't we got some business to take care of? Yeah. I hate to say it, but Swain's right. We need to complete the clarion, and that means get this holy wood. Huh? But, but, how? You lost it? What's the matter? Don't tell me you've gone and dropped the flippin' thing. No, I didn't drop it. I mean, I had it just a second ago. I I'm sure I did. So, you're saying someone made off with it while you, were lo while you weren't looking. Well, y you know a thing or two about that, wouldn't you? There you go, bringing up ancient history again. Look, you're the one who lost it. Don't go blaming me. I had it all this time, I swear. Stop fighting, both of you. If it's missing, we have to find it and fast. You're not wrong, Oliver. Let's ask some of the folks around by here if they've seen it. Alright, um, who do we ask? You know, or we could just skip everyone and go straight to where the star is leading us. Wait. I came up here for a different reason first. How did I almost forget about this? How did I? That's... Is he over there? I don't... think so. I actually... Okay. So I know for a fact that he did say he was going, that, um, Henry I think is what he calls himself though. The Sage of Ages said he was going to meet us back where he first saw us. He ain't here. It's a little place I haven't been yet and I haven't seen him while crossing ways so bear in mind I've never done this before. I've never done these many side things with the Sage of Ages. If 
I ever find a butthole. I need to be, like, super observant. Yeah, no, he ain't here. Bye-bye. If he is, he's on the left side. That way. Um... The Cotter Master. He's the one who knows. I want to check this first. Is he going to be up here? I will find this Sage of Ages. Uh, kid. Oh, Timmy. Hi. Yes, I am very aware it's sealed. I'm an idiot and pushed the wrong button, okay? Uh, Springlock. Unlock the purple chest, please. A set of shining scales. What is that gonna do for me? I mean, I know what it does, but isn't it like... Equipment-wise, doesn't it do me a worse? Do I have anything better than what I've already got? Yeah, no, I don't. That does me better, actually. Yeah, defenses go down almost every single. Ooh. Wait a minute. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, man. No, that, that's probably the best I can do. Can I do anything that'll help? Nah, it doesn't look like it. Okay. Swain, you're, we're gonna leave you alone. Bye-bye! Okay, I guess he's not here yet. Unless he's on that left side that we haven't I brought up earlier. He ain't here. Let's go talk to the Cotter Master. Harold? Hi. Ah, oh, hello there. Oh dear. You look quite worked up. What's ruffled your feathers? Some dirty rotten thing. Hey! You sounded like me, ain't it? Hold on a minute. Look over by there, Ollie boy. It's the Holy Wood. Where did you find it, sir? Ah, uh, is that what's caught your eye? Pretty, isn't it? I thought it would make a rather nice window display. A flippin' window display? That's Holy Wood, that is. Don't tell me you were planning on wedging weapons in it. You were, weren't you? Mr. Mr. Cottermaster, sir. That holy wood is ours. It was stolen from us. Stolen? But I've only just bought it. And for a price that would make your eyes water. Don't tell me I've been rooked. Afraid so, Mom. Whoever sold it to you must have pinched it from us. Ain't it? Gah! I should have been more cautious. I did wonder how he could have come by such a valuable item. So you know the person who sold it to you, sir? It was that young mouse. The one with the glasses. He's always coming round here, hawking his wares. Glasses? But I never thought he was a thief. No, just because you say he's guilty, that doesn't make it true. If you want me to believe you, you're going to have to bring me some proof. But, but, how can we do that? There's only... One thing for a tally boy. We're going to have to catch that mouse and get him to confess. Uh, okay, let's do that. We'll get your proof, sir. Uh, uh, I know where this is going. Can we not? Please do it quickly. I'd hate to think I was handling stolen goods. Well. Window display is better than whatever the heck he would have used it for otherwise. What in the... Oh, I see. So when does the Sage of Ages show up next? He kind of just vanished. 
Oh, he's probably still in Perdita, isn't he? I guess big events have to happen for him to... Hey! Oi! You little pipsqueak! You're the one who tried to make a quick gilda selling the holy wood, aren't you? How'd you find me? I'll never do it again. Honest, ever, ever, or my name's not Pip. Pip? But why? What made you start stealing? I needed the money, didn't I? Not that it's any of your blinking business. How am I going to make my dreams come true if I'm broke, eh? Your dreams? That's no excuse for stealing. What kind of dreams do you have anyway? Nice try, dumb dumb. You... Deja vu much? You think I'm telling you? I know you'll just laugh at me for being a silly little mouse with big ideas. Crikey! Bit blue and touchy, ain't we? Ain't we? There's no need to be so flippin' defensive, mouse face. Well, we did just corner him, to be fair. Anyway, let's call it the little runt and head back to the Cottermaster's store, shall we? Wait a second, you guys. Is it just me, or does Pip really remind you of somebody? You mean you might share a soul with someone back in Motorfun? I think so. But I'm just not sure who it could have to- OLIVER! Of all people, you should be able to know like that fast. Um, Pip, would you mind telling us a little more about your dream? We won't laugh at you, I promise. Why should I? You can't tell me what to do. Why should I take orders? From a big baby who sleeps with a stupid dog. What? Is that true, Oliver? Uh, no, I don't sleep with a doll anymore. <laughs> How grown up! He's thirteen years old, Pip. But I bet you still drag it around with you everywhere in case you get scared at night, you big baby. I do not. I do not. I told you, I don't sleep with a doll anymore. I stopped taking Mr. Drippy to bed almost a year ago. Oh. <laughs> now you've done it, dumb dumb. You all heard him, didn't you? I bet your girlfriend's really impressed now. Stop being mean. She's not my... And I don't sleep with the doll. Cut it out, will you? Just cut it out, Phil. Ding, 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 ding. Huh? Did you just call him Phil? That mangy mouse's name is Pip. I I'm sorry. It's just what he said. It sounded just like Phil when he's being mean. Blimey. Well, you know what that means. I don't know what you're on about. All I know is you'll never catch me. This rotten rodent is starting to get on my nerves. He's not making things easy for us, is he? Well, what are we going to do, Oliver? Well, it took me a while to work it out, but there's no mistake. Phil's brokenhearted. <laughs> he can be kind of mean and real stubborn, but he's still my best friend. I'm talking about Phil. Tiny, I think we've got our man. Just goes to show, if you've got a big bully for a soulmate, you might just turn out to be a nasty piece of work too. Hmm, I get it. Something must be going on with this soulmate to have made this mouse turn to a life of crime. I feel kind of bad. It's been a while since I saw Phil. I hope he's okay. Let's go and see if Philip and Oliver. Come on, Oliver. There's no time to waste. Yep, I'm pushing the button. I'm pushing the button. Okay, finally. Uh, where's gate? Wow. Gateway. Okay. Alright, where the heck is Phil? Straight running. Jay walking here. Hey, I'm, I'm walking here. I'm walking here. Okay, that didn't do anything. Oh. Whatever. 
Gaston piece of crap. Plunger pickles. I don't even know what I'm saying at this point. Phil just gonna be at his own house? Yeah, hi, Phil. Hi. Phil. Oh, it's you. Come to get even, huh? Even? Even for what? All I wanted was to build an auto all of my own. A hot rod faster and finer than any other. Sure you did, Phil. It was what we both wanted. But my dream, it... It killed somebody. Gee, uh... It, it killed your mom. Don't say that, Phil. Don't ever say that. It wasn't your fault. I don't want to worry you, Molly boy. But there's a funny look in your mate's eye. Uh-oh. Ah, uh, here we go again. Here we go again. I think this is the last nightmare, though. I don't think there's another nightmare after this one. This one's fat, though. <laughs> That's one fat nightmare. Um, we're gonna go spells. What is this guy weak to? I'm just gonna assume light since he's dark. Whoa. That's great. At this rate, this guy's gonna. No! Oh. You were doing that for someone else. Whoops. Yeah, this guy. This guy ain't gonna live to see a second day. We're, we're gonna be done within less time than I expected, but it's probably gonna take like 20 hits. Light. Ow! Phil! Tell your nightmare to calm down, would you? Thank you. Halfway. More than half. Whoa, 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 whoa. Esther! You could have had him, and you did that. We could have had him! And you... I don't know who that's gonna hit, so I'm just trying to be careful. What does that even do? Well, th thank you. Double thank you, peoples. Take arrow! Take arrow. There we go. That's the one I want to defend. That was the one I wanted to defend. Uh, ow! I want, 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 I want. <laughs> Maybe I've been hanging around the nightmares too much. <laughs> Whoa, that was a lot. Yeah, we we've got this. We got this in the bag. One more hit and he's dead. Guarantee that. I want to get the final hit, y'all. Y'all better not steal it from me. Ha! We did it! We did it! Wow. We're already at level 50. Usually it's around a level 60-something when I beat the game. Usually. I wonder if I'll get more this time. Probably, since I'm going to be fighting the final boss twice. Oh. I can metamorphose that thing. Phil? Phil! <laughs> All of it. It's all my fault. Flippin' heck. The poor lad's still broken hearted. <laughs> Drippy, since we... Look, we just hung out with his nightmare. It, it, it shook our hand, but then went... <laughs> And it pretty much just ran away. You expect anything to be different with this guy? <laughs> How does one have to do with the other? <sighs> Flippin' heck. The poor lad's still broken hearted. Phil? Well, you must really hate me, Ollie. Ollie? I guess we're not friends anymore, huh? Uh... No, I, I never said that. 
It should have been me. It should have been me in that car. It should have been me in the river. Wow. Not gonna lie, Philip is actually starting to sound like me to a specific degree. When something goes utterly wrong, not gonna lie, this is what I've done. Haven't done it in a while, but... Is it? Well, that's not... Eh, I don't want to think. The nightmares... Out of my head. Out of my head. Out. Eh, 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 eh. Nightmare out. Nightmare out. Brr. That was your mom would have... That way your mom would have never had to save you. That way she'd still be alive. You can't think like that, Phil. It won't change anything. <laughs> what was I thinking trying to build a car? If I hadn't built that hunk of junk, none of this would have ever happened. Phil, this isn't what my mom would have wanted. She wanted you. She wouldn't want to see you like this. You were trying to make our dreams come true. You were trying to make the neatest car in the whole world, remember? Our dreams. Oh boy. <sighs> Who cares about our dumb dreams? But. but I'm not even pushing the button this time. Didn't you listen to a word I said? Your mom's dead because of our dumb dreams. He has no hope left. Never mind. He doesn't sound like me. I have at all. This guy has no hope left in him. So what do I do now? Build another car? Mess it up again? Get somebody else? Get somebody else. Get them. I can't. Listen to me, Phil. My mom would never want us to give up on our dreams. I just know it. You remember all those times we'd sneak into the car factory? Remember the old guy we made friends with there? The engineer? He told us about the cars, didn't he? And we promised him we'd make a car better than anything Motorville had ever seen. Sure. My mom used to tell me we tell us we had cars on the brain. Wow. But when she heard us talk about our dream, she'd smile. She re never really got mad at us, did she? I remember. She wanted us to follow our dreams. I know she did. Follow our dreams? I know it's what my mom would have wanted. You can't give up on your dreams. Huh? Well, I never. I didn't see this one coming, Holly Boy. It's your own heart that's making the locket glow. <laughs> your heart's brimming with ambition. I should have known. But, but what am I supposed to do? Point the stick at your heart and just say Alakazam. It'll come out. Can I really take a piece of my own heart? Well, it can't hurt to try now, can it? And it'll make a change from borrowing from other folks. Go on, man. Give it a go. Okay. Here goes. I'm taking my own heart. See ya, Buster. My dream is going in my locket. That's basically what this episode is. Dreams and nightmares. Ambition is the last one. We have now come across every single tr type of piece of heart in this game. Jeepers creepers. That sure felt strange. I guess that must be how all the people who helped us felt, huh? Nice one, Ollie boy. I told you it was worth a try, did I not? That's what I would have said, didn't I? It doesn't sound like his character. Hold on, Phil. There's something I need to share with you. Well, he's being very cooperative. How can you say we should follow our dreams? It's thanks to my crummy dreams that your mom... Ollie boy, give him that ambition you've got out of yourself before he drives me potty, will you? Yes, I'll fix him with a piece of my own heart. I just... I just passed it. Here you go. Well? Huh? What did you... What is this? 
I feel kind of warm inside. I don't know what's wrong with me, Ollie. I just can't... I just can't stop crying. But I feel all warm and fuzzy, too. You know what that is, Phil? That's my mom trying to tell you something. <laughs> I mean, your mom is technically a part of you, so yeah. She's telling you to never give up on your dreams. Never give up? That's right. And we don't want to let my mom down, do we? So that means we have to keep on going. Keep on chasing after our dreams. I, I can't let my mom down. I won't. You're right, Ellie. I won't give up. I won't give up on my dreams. Uh, on our dreams. That's a promise, Ollie. Phil. Aww. Aww. Ollie. Phil. Aww. That's sweet. I'm going to study hard and go to college. Then I'm going to build a car that's safe. A car people can rely on. You see if I don't. You hold me to that, won't you, Ollie? Sure I will, Phil. Now, there's one other thing I gotta tell you, Ollie. If you're gonna keep dressing like a weirdo, I can't be seen with you. <laughs> hey! Well, oh, these clothes? I, uh, it's not what you think. <laughs> nah, it's okay, really. If you want to dress like a crazy, who am I to stop you? Now, I got important things to do. See you around, kiddo. Uh, 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 okay. <laughs> to tell you the truth, Ollie boy, I don't know if nabbing a nugget of your own heart was go going to work. Well, looks like it worked fine, Mr. Derby. Phil's back to his old self. Wait, who's speaking? I've been waiting for ages. Where is he? Huh? What's wrong with him all of a sudden? Oliver, I've been waiting. Where were you? P. Oh, that was P speaking. What are you doing here? This is my house. P? You mean P's here right now? Yes, she came right out of my house. But how did you get inside? Easy peasy. I can open any door I like. <laughs> oh, jeez. Uh, listen, P. I'm not sure I understand. Who are you waiting for? You silly! I got something to tell you. Oliver, are you sure you're, you'll be alright? Whatever happens? Even if you find out the truth? What? But the truth? I'm worried about you, Oliver. Are you sure you'll be alright? It's been a while since I've done P's voice, actually. Well, I'm not exactly sure what it is you're worried about, P. But as long as my friends are with me, I'll be fine. You don't have to worry about me. Good. Oh, Oliver. What is it? I'll always watch over you. Okay. Uh, okay, okay. Bye, P. Thanks. So... What did P have to say, Oliver? We only heard what you said. She said she was worried about me, so I told her that I had my friends with me and that I was going to be okay. Of course you are, Ollie boy. You've got the Lord High Lord of the Fairies on your side, ain't it? <laughs> and don't forget me. We've been through a fair few scrapes, but we're still going strong, aren't we? Huh. As if he'd forget you, Sway. <laughs> wow. Thanks, you guys. That means a lot. Now, Phil's back to his old self, so let's go see Pip. Right. Back we go to Ding Dong Dell. Well, that didn't take very long. We were there for maybe 10 minutes. No, probably 15 minutes. Half the episode ish. Not really. Uh. <laughs> I think we were there for about 15 minutes. Wait, what? Oh! Wait, that 
That's the only one? Well, where am I supposed to get to my mission? I think I get why those ones exist. Yeah, they're constantly help, but I think that one, those guys are supposed to be... Okay, tutorial on how to use... Who to use this kind of spell on. I don't know. Is that in here? Perhaps? There's like no ambition in anybody. Wow. Okay. I guess not then. <sighs> well, let's see here. Mm. You know what? As long as it's not an auto cutscene, it's not an auto cutscene. Okay. Hi. I'm really sorry. That thing I stole, it was really important, wasn't it? Huh? What a flippin' transformation, what? Looks like this mouse really is your pal's soulmate. Thing is, I've always, I've already sold it. I, I, I sell things to the local shopkeepers, you see? I just don't know what to do. Don't worry, Pip. Let's just explain to the shopkeeper what happened. I'm sure he'll understand. I'm so sorry, Oliver. Ah, you're back, I see. And we've caught ourselves a thief. Come on, Pipsqueak, out with it. This piece of wood, it was me. I stole it. You stole it? A little chap like you? You confessed, didn't he? That mouse stole it and sold it to you, you rotter. Uh, I would have called him. Actually, yes, I would have called the Cottermaster a rotter and not the mouse. Or maybe the mouse, I don't know. The rotter. I haven't spent all, any of the money, I promise. I'll give it all back to you. Well, I sense this is an item of some value to you, and that its loss has caused you some distress. I hate to see it go, but I know where it belongs. That's a good shopkeeper. Yay, I got the Hollywood back. Well, that's sort of done. <sighs> We're lucky the shopkeeper wasn't in the mood to rook us. You know, Pip... I can't believe you turned yourself in and returned the money. You call yourself a thief? I I'm no thief. I'm telling you. It was just a moment of madness. I'm so, so sorry. I'll do anything to make it up to you. I mean it. Listen, it's okay. You got it back in the end. Oh, I almost forgot. You said that your dreams had driven you to become a thief? That's right. I've got big dreams. They don't come cheap. I need guilders, and lots of them. Have you ever heard of something called a cloud sweeper? Isn't that a sort of flying broom powered by magic? Not my, not my kind of thing. Well, it's my kind of thing, that's for sure. Ever since I was little, I've always wanted to build my very own cloud sweeper. I want to build the fastest, bestest cloud sweeper in the whole world. If I rem Never mind, I won't say that right now. <laughs> Is it just me, or does he really remind you of someone? He sure does. Say, Pip, building something's that go that uh, building something that goes real fast is super neat, huh? <laughs> Finally, someone who understands me. Thanks for taking the time to hear me talk about my dreams. Now I need to save up some money. The honest way. Good luck, Pip. And... We're done. I think. Yeah, okay, we're done. I'm gonna leave this video here. Uh, we'll start from here for once, not in a hotel, next time. For right now, though, thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Nino Kuni Wrath of the White Witch. If you liked it, make sure to push that like button in so far you can't see it anymore. If you really liked it, consider subscribing to the channel. And don't forget to follow your dreams. If you want to check out, though, any other stops that have been in code level 5, right now it's just level 5, has done prior to this, click the link at the bottom right corner. It's only part of the playthrough. I never really had interest in doing the whole thing, but 
I checked it out, so if you want to see that, click down there. Any of the stops on this ride trying to take you to will be across my head here. But in the meantime, this train's off to its next destination, but we hope to catch all of you in another ride. Bye!